All right, so I've, got a, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to naturally hallucinate without drugs um, using either lucid dreaming or losing, uh, using other techniques as well. So there's actually a really easy way of doing this, okay? And I think a lot of people have heard about this, but no one's really sort of tried it for themselves. Um, it's to do with the what's called the Gansfield effect. And this is where, without going into the science of it, basically without any stimulation, so without seeing, hearing things, tasting, whatever, without using your senses, your brain... Do, really doesn't like that okay your, your brain needs stimuli and so when you deprive it of stimuli it it sort of creates its own um, experiences it sees things that aren't there hears things that aren't happening and you know uh, it becomes sort of like a hallucination an illusion okay so really the question is how do you deprive yourself of your senses uh, okay and the easiest way of doing this without going into like a float tank or a sleep pod or anything like that uh, or without using drugs is to just deprive yourself of what you can see and hear. That's the easiest way. So to do this, it's really simple. All you need to do, um, I don't actually have one with me, but if you just imagine a ping pong ball, okay? They're very small, cheap plastic balls. You can get them at Poundland or whichever store is near you. Get a ping pong ball, and they're about this big. Cut it in half, okay? So get a, get a knife or a pair of scissors, cut the ping pong ball in half, put um, each half over your eyes, so all you can see is, is complete white, pure whiteness. And then you can you can either hold it in place yourself, or you can attach it to some sort of cardboard frame or something like this. You can even buy Gansfield goggles on Amazon um, if you don't want to make make them. Um, so yeah, put put that over your eyes, and then put some in ear noise cancelling headphones in your ears. Now, and you, to make this even more powerful, right? What you can do is you can lay in a warm bath. Um, you can even fill, if you have a big enough bath, right, you can fill the bath up with salt and it will feel like you're floating, you won't be able to see or hear anything, and you're going to basically hallucinate vividly, that's my phone going crazy, you're going to basically hallucinate vividly within about 10 to 20 minutes at most, okay, and you're going to start seeing some crazy things. You'll also hear things uh, that aren't there as well. So this is a really simple way, I mean, look, I've been talking for two minutes, this is, that's how you do it, that's the whole technique, right? You just put these ping pong balls over your eyes, noise cancelling headphones in your ears, and then if you want to, you don't have to do this, you can lay in a, a float tank full of salt, or you can just, you know, make a nice comfortable bed on the floor and just lay there on your back completely still. Um, and yeah, you're going to hallucinate, you're going to see things, it might start off as like a spiralling pattern going sort of intertwining around like this, it might be sort of like a flashing series of lights, uh, or it might just be anything, it might be like the start of a dream. It really depends on you, uh, it's different for everyone, and that's how you do it. Another way of hallucinating naturally is to use what's called hypnagogic um, imagery. So when you go to sleep, especially when you start to lucid dream, there are sort of several stages. If you imagine that on a graph, here is when, where you're just going to sleep and then here is where you're lucid, all the way up this line, there are different stages of sort of hallucination and of what you'll see on your on the back of your eyelids. And it's called hypnagogic imagery. Um, and so the idea is the longer up this chart you go, the longer you lay there awake, you know, in your, awake in your mind, but asleep in your body, uh, the more hallucinations you'll have. So you're, you'll start off by seeing colours. Then as you go on, you might see like flashing lines or, or stripes or stars. Um, and then as that goes on, you'll start to see like mandala things and like sp spinning circles, concentric rings and all this sort of stuff. Um, until eventually when you get to about here, you're actually starting to see things in the dream. Like you might see a plant, you might see a person, a building, um, whatever the case is, cars, trees, water. Um, and so, yeah, that's how you can hallucinate very easily uh, without any drugs. So if you enjoy this, I'll see you next time.